Hello Zany friends, I am Lainey. And I am Marshall. And we have the May uh, collection and products video for Zany Lainey. And before we jump in, um, you may have noticed our YouTube channel has been a little bit sporadic. I got very behind in editing videos, so you're going to see some videos back from before we moved into our new uh, place. Uh, so if the background looks a little weird from video to video, that is why we're trying to catch up from everything because it's still been very crazy. So those videos you should probably watch from inside of a hot tub or a, a police box, just for the time travel aspect. All right. <laughs> uh, so the first thing to tell you is uh, for the month of May and June, we are still continuing to be extremely busy. There will be no parties in the Facebook group on in May and June, but there will still be highlight deals on the site. So for the month of May, we are highlighting uh, Star Wars collection, which is because of May the 4th mm -hmm. and May the 6th be with you. May the 6th. Re 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 Revenge of the 6th. Yes, there you go. There it is. Okay. So uh, those, we're doing the Star Wars collection. So everything in the Star Wars collection uh, will be uh, discounted. We also are celebrating uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, which happens like in, like it's going to be the beginning of June, but we're doing it this mm -hmm. month. We are celebrating the 10th anniversary of Parks and Rec. So that whole collection will also be discounted. And as well as Sam Winchester's birthday, Dude Where's the Pie will also be discounted. What you're gonna look for on the site is on the side, you're gonna hit products and highlight deals and there is a post with all of those deals on the inside. That is the only place on the site it is discounted. If you try to get them on another post, because we do have the regular posts, it's not discounted there. You gotta go to highlight deals, okay? All right, so also we've got a little changes happening. So the first one I wanna bring up is our rewards program. We mm -hmm. used to talk about pops all the time, the proof of purchases that you get. We are no longer doing that and the deadline to exchange your pops has now passed. So if you have not gotten your pops into me, I'm sorry you lost all your rewards, but I did post about it in the group all during the month of April and I did exchange the ones that people told me about. So it is going to be exactly the same as before. If you get 500 rewards points, then you will get a $5 uh, credit towards your order but it's all going to be done on the site you need to sign up for a rewards account on the site if you haven't already and just setting up your profile gets you 100 points easy peasy right Good stuff. so the, every time you make an order or refer friends or whatever you will get points towards your order which i really like the system a lot better now because i don't have to keep track of it yeah yes okay the second thing we're going to tell you is that this month begins our new labels now the reason why this is important to you is because, do you remember all of those highlight deals we told you about? That old art is going away. Mm -hmm. So if you want any of the art from Righteous Dude, Dude Wears the Pie, Star Wars, or Parks and Rec in a digital download or a button form, you need to get it on the site this month or else you don't get it anymore. It's yeah. going away. This is due to some copyright reasons. So just for those, um, you will see we don't have that after May. So get in there, get your stuff. Uh, the new labels we will be showing you in this video. We also will not be doing buttons of the new items yet. We're still trying to clear out our inventory of our old stuff first. We want to make sure that people have enough time to get the old buttons before we go on to the new cosplayables art that we are doing. And one thing to clarify is if you are one of those that's been working with us uh, to do a custom scent and it was one of our rewards and it was one of those that we said we're going to do full artwork for you, don't worry, that's still going to get done as well as the new cosplayables and we will still be working with you on mm -hmm. those cosplayables as to what you want to see. That's right. Also, if you are commissioning a scent from us and you would like to commission full artwork, that is still an option for you. Um, especially if you're a brand that's looking to uh, expand some of your own product by having some of our scents, we can make labels directly for you that don't look like our cost labels. Mm -hmm. But we will have to uh, monitor the copyright issues as exactly. well. That's the only thing we need to do. Um, and like he did say, any of the Create a Sense, those are the ones that are voted on in the group. From now until October, we'll get that art. Anything after October, we'll not get that art. We'll just get the cosplay yeah. bowls. 
cosplay bowls. Cosplay bowls. <laughs> cosplay bowls. Um, so that is all of the info that you need to know. Um, all of the stuff from our collection is also discounted with the exception of one thing you're going to see down here. But everything else is discounted on the site as of right now. It went off this morning. So if you're seeing this video, which is probably going to go up in a couple days, get on the site and go get your stuff. And you can also use a rep code, by the way, if you guys want to. If you go into our Facebook group, um, in the pinned, the very top announcement post, you're going to see a video. this video um, will be on the top announcement post. And in the comments, our reps leave their uh, little links. So you can get a code to get money off of your order if you look in the comments and just pick a random rep and their code to get you money off. What a good deal, right? Yeah. All right. Let's talk about the collection portion of this month. Uh, we were going to take a couple blank months off. But somehow that just didn't end up happening. It'd be mostly because the reason why we were going to take some months off is because Marshall was been getting bogged down by art. And now that we're doing the new cosplay bowls, it takes him less time to do it. So now we're able to go back to our old doing a theme every month because I people mean, got confused. I Yeah, I got, I got this thing where like... Uh, the main artwork was now taking me like it was taking me like four weeks to get everything together mm -hmm. like I, I needed a whole week because of you know, life uh, I do live occasionally so um, and the new cosplay bowls they take me a couple hours at most mm -hmm. they really don't take long yeah. so you're going to see exactly why when we show you so our collection is called fourth times the charm which is based on sequels of movies that are coming out this summer and that are the are fourth. The fourth. <laughs> yes. Which we did not plan that they were the fourth. We were just like, hey, they're coming out this summer. Let's do it. Yeah. But then we realized, oh, it's it's the fourth. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's the fourth. So let us start. You're going to see all the artwork right up here as well. Uh, so we are going to be showing you the camera like way up here. It's going to be right here. So you'll be able to see it very easily. Let us start with, you can pick which of those you want to do. Forget me not. Forget Me Not is based on Men in Black. However, the cosplay bowl is uh, based on what? Well, I mean, she's a, this is Collada as a Men in Black agent. Um, although there is a little bit more towards the more recent upcoming movie mm -hmm. where we have, I think her name is M. Mm -hmm. um, so you can see the new labels. Um, we call it cosplayables because it's a cosplay label. So we will have one of our characters that Marshall has originated dressed up like a character or characters in whatever it is that we have so for her she is dressed as a man as an agent yeah yeah what is the scent notes for this, this it is, is strawberries orchids and ginger and at first you're really going to get the strawberries but then the orchids kind of come in afterwards not very it's not very uh, yeah. a lot of orchids it's very strawberry yeah. especially in the scrub i can smell it a lot but I think it's really great because it's kind of fresh, but then there is kind of a manly-ish note with the orchids and the ginger that kind of provide it to be manly, but... I feel honestly, like the ginger good. gives it a little bit of manliness, but the orchids give it a little bit of femininity. So yeah, it does kind of work in both directions. Well, I really I really like this one a lot. And how cute is Colada in her... This is, this is the, uh, the roughest that we've ever seen her. Like, we don't really see her in... Yeah, she's usually very feminine. Yeah, she's she's the motherly feminine one of the group. So in, in Forget Me Not, you are able to get it in a scrub and a spray. Mm. Next is... From Ashes. Which is based on a Dark Phoenix X-Men movie coming out this summer as well. And I believe, and I, although I, for some reason it didn't work out this way, I believe that there are a three different labels. In fact, let's take up the screen for it. There's four different labels going on here because um, there's four different versions of phoenix um the there's the light phoenix in the green the light phoenix in the white the dark phoenix in the red and the dark phoenix in black and i just did them all yeah because <laughs> it was just a simple palette swap <laughs> so i don't know why the labels didn't work out that way for the ones that we got for ours but uh, we have the, the one in green and yellow um and of course we're using which one is this this is um, this is jelly. Jelly is our our girl. The scent notes are lime, raspberry, and mint. And something you can really tell on this one, maybe not so much on this one, is that based on the collection that it is in, the background will be kind of trellis-like, which is our brand. If you don't know the trellis, is this this mm -hmm. pattern. 
um, with different colors or textures. So this is the, I'm guessing the Marvel. This is Marvel. It's a red metallic with a white, uh, the white trellis background mm -hmm. itself. And that one is a dark blue, light blue uh, trellis flannel. Which I believe is for 90s movies. Correct. 90s movies will have that background. Mm -hmm. So this one is lime raspberry and mint. I love mint for spring. Mm. Oh, this is so good. Like, oh my gosh. This it's... is very refreshing. Mm. Like all the, mm. when, for those of you who are big fans of So Fresh, So Green Green, mm -hmm. this is the good side of fr So Fresh, So Good yeah. Green Green. If you had some slight issues with fresh green, mm -hmm. um, you would like this. This one fixes that, I think. So as you can see, you have it in three different spray, scrub, and wax this month. This is the one we decided would be a great wax, and I... It's very refreshing. And if you remember, we are reformulating our wax. This is the old wax. When you see it purple, you will know that it is new. Mm -hmm. But we haven't done that yet, but this is so good. The new formulations we think are going to have slightly better throw mm -hmm. um, and is going to stand up to summer heat just a little bit better. Just a bit better. Last one for this release, this, this set, is Friend Trip. And Friend Trip is based off of the Toy Story franchise, which is now going into its fourth one. Mm -hmm. um, and so you can see... Hershey dressed up as Buzz Lightyear, and it smells of apricots and cotton candy. And friendship, which you forgot to put on the label. I but did. in the definition, it says apricots, cotton candy, and friendship. This one is so... It's not... You do get the sugar, but I say I get the apricots a lot more in this one. I do one. too. Even though it's a sugar scrub, you would think I would get more sugar, but no. no. I get the apricots. When we put our scents into these sugar scrubs, a lot of the sugar does tend to go away. The sugar <laughs> smell. This one too. Mm, it's, I need to put this in my shower. This is a really good one um, for rooms that do need to be feeling more clean. Mm -hmm. um, it's good for restrooms. It's good for your children's rooms. Mm -hmm. We really wanted all the sense that for this part of the collection to be really fresh and really spring summer. Mm -hmm. You know really light and refreshing. I thought I think all of these really hit the mark when it comes to that. It totally does. So next we want to talk about the wax. So we do put into the group uh, a vote to see which wax you guys want for uh, to, to purchase for that month. Um, we have started selecting two as we are now getting to the place where we will start incorporating more wax into our site which we couldn't before because of where we lived so now that we live in a new place we'll be able to do more wax and that is coming burner yes oh yeah thank you stephanie for sending that burner so marshall can have one in his bathroom mm -hmm. but anyway we have the two waxes and i'm excited for both of these it's cute kids bow and an occupation and you will notice it does not have the new cosplay bowls labels that's because they are coming with the collection that they are in later on um so you won't you won't be seeing those right away but of course cute kids bow is strawberries and cream was made by our rep stephanie and i love it Ugh. and an occupation is based on sense and sensibility one of my favorite movies and it smells like it smells like raspberry apples and almonds I really do get the almond now. Mm -hmm. That kind of more. cherry almond. Yeah. 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 So that kind of, does that kind of bring us into the ones that are a little bit off? The yes cycle? and no. We actually have a creative scent this month that also falls into the sequels category. We did not plan it that way. However, there is a little bit of an issue. If you notice all of the ones of this cycle, their names started with F. Yeah. Friendship, Forget Me Not, and From Ashes. Mm -hmm. However, this one doesn't. It just didn't work out that way. Instead, it's life um, finds a way. This is based on Jurassic Park, and it was uh, created by uh, Lena here on YouTube, and her husband Brian has always said he would like to do a Jurassic Park scent. He wants it to smell like, you know, the, the environment of the island and shaving cream, because in the original Jurassic Park movie, he puts the stuff in a Barbasol can. Um, so... We try to approximate that as much as possible. We I do not have a shaving good. cream fragrance oil, but this one, it smells like bergamot rain and shaving cream. And what you're going to see right here is actually not the cosplayable label. 
In fact, this was what we were talking about when we said we were still going to do a full art. This, on your right hand side, is the full art that is going to be available for just this month. Then, on the left hand side, you're going to find the cosplayable version, which shows you Ian Malcolm, Hershey, um, and we're going to be switching to that one later on. Yes, so you will be able to get the digital download of this and uh, this in a button, although I don't have a button to show you. You can get it in a button later on as well for this. Um, but, okay, so the send. This... Wait, first let's talk about the, the art that you did for this. So this is, which, did you do a specific raptor? I did not what? do a specific raptor because the specific raptors didn't start to happen until Jurassic World. Right. In the original Jurassic Park movies, they were all just, it's a raptor. There, it's a specific raptor, but it, it's actually like a not not velociraptor, believe it or not. Mm. The, in the science of it, it's not actually a velociraptor. Mm -hmm. So the way it smells, what do you think as far as it smelling like? This is a good, clean, manly smell. It kind of is. Um, it does smell of Barbasol. We really did capture that shaving cream Barbasol, I feel. Yeah. Even though we didn't have a, hey, this is what Barbasol smells yeah. like. We we, we kind of fudged it a little bit, yeah. but I think we did an okay job with this one for sure. Um, but again, it does smell very manly. It does smell very like soapy mm -hmm. um, in a way, but... It also gives you a little bit of the forest. It's like mm -hmm. a clean guy that just came out of a hotel and into the forest. Exactly. Yeah. So next up, we're going to start in on uh, some other scents, and these are created mostly by our reps. And when we are a rep for me, if you're the top seller of the month, you get the ability to create your own scent. And in the past, they have not been able to create a label because it was so time consuming, but now they do. So this also gives me the opportunity to go back to one that I have neglected to mention, and I am so sorry, for like two, three months, I forgot to say this in a video, and now it is the chance, but the redemption is the fact that she actually gets a cosplayable on it. Yeah. And this scent is called Dapple Apple. It is created by my rep Natasha, um, who has been with me for a while. And she decided she wanted it to smell like um, apple candy, donut batter, and cinnamon. It really does smell like an apple cinnamon donut, like a fritter. Mm -hmm. But on, if you see on the label, it we asked her like what she wanted it to be like. She wanted it to be part of our Harry, Harry Potter collection. And she is dressed like Mrs. Weasley, which is what she's wearing, I think, like when they first come, when Harry first comes to her house, right? Actually, I think that particular outfit that she's wearing there is one from a later movie. Oh, okay. Um, it's, wait. Harry's here? Oh, Harry's here? Who how is Harry here? Oh, hello, Harry, dear. Now that, uh, I yeah. it's that scene. Yeah. So Dapple Apple, very cinnamony, very donut. But, I mean, like, you can get the cinnamon and the dough, like, right away. And now I want to go make bread. And now I want to <laughs> go to the donut shop and get an apple fritter. Darn it. Yeah. But anyway, that is Dapple Apple. It is available on the site. It is not discounted right now, but it is available on the site if you want it. And I love this new addition to our Harry Potter and collection. And not only that, what's great about it is this very closely fits into the original set that we brought out mm -hmm. uh, of uh, something off the trolley years because Dapple Apple is a can well, candy. It's a prank candy uh, that is available at the Weasleys, Wizarding Wheezes. Um, it's an apple flavored candy that makes your face break out into all sorts of spots. That was their whole thing because they would do that so you could get out of class. Mm -hmm. Pretty much. Okay. All right, so next is the, I believe it's February's, February's uh, yeah. top seller scent from Stephanie. If you remember, we mentioned she did Cute Kids Bow. Um, so this is the one <laughs> called Here, There, and Everywhere, and uh, it is based on... Gummy Bears. The, specifically, The Adventures of the Gummy Bears, which is an old, if you, if you, you know, weren't a shut-in child. This was a Disney cartoon that came before Gargoyles and was made by the same crew. Disney Saturday mornings you used to watch like DuckTales and Gummy Bears and... Tailspin. Tailspin, oh yes. So this, uh, of course, the art on this is uh, the Gummy Bear. <laughs> this is, it's, um, oh, what was it? Cubby Gummy. Uh -huh. This is Hershey is Cubby Gummy. And it is made of, uh, this smells like gummy candy and fizzy juice. I have been using, I have my old one, you can see, the old label, which, you know, is the generic label we used to have. 
I am down to here. I have been using this pretty much all through the month of uh, April. And I've it's been beautiful. using this scrub and I'm about halfway through it. It is so good. It's like fizzy, fruity sugar. I, it's just it's so good. good. It, it, it's good. If you were a fan of Cute Kids Bow or uh, what was the other one that was... I think it's To the Moon. Make-A-Wish. Oh, To the Moon, yeah, that one's Those like are, very sugary. They're all very sugary. This is in that vein, but it's got more of the fruit sides. And this, the, the fizzy is really just it what makes it, right? So mm -hmm. if she wanted it to smell like gummy berry juice, and so oh, I was like, and, yeah. Um, that also brings up, and we didn't kind of tell them so they could tell with the friend trip, mm -hmm. but this one also has the Disney background, which is a light blue, dark blue with sparkles. I wanted it bubbles. to be like Disney magic. <laughs> Basically, mm -hmm. I actually told him, Bring, give me bubbles and sparkles. <laughs> but the bubbles need to have sparkles. Exactly. Next one is she was the top seller for March too. Isn't she doing a good job? Um, so she wanted an Invader Zim uh, themed scent that has caramel, lime, and then I added a little agave to give it a little bit more sweetness. Mm -hmm. But as you can see from this, we are finally using Waldo as our art. Okay, so, and having Waldo be a part of the artwork does kind of require him to have a little bit of a change up. Um, ever since his inclusion at the very beginning, he was kind of the creepy rabbit. He was always supposed to be the creepy rabbit. I, I don't know if you ever noticed that. He's just a creeper. He is a but creeper. But now he's just got a little bit of a cuter side. Yes. I, I like this. I think I smell the, the agave and the caramel more than the apple. I, I do get the apple, but it's buried a little bit, and mm. I think that's good because we do have a lot of apple scents. And... Oh, no, not apple, lime. It's lime. Oh. Not yeah. apple. Lime. <laughs> I don't know why I thought it was apple. No. Anyway, it's called Doom Doom Doom. We forgot to say that. Doom, doom, doom. And the, the background is what? This is the television background, mm -hmm. um, and since you can see it in the full label, um, you, you get that feeling of just kind of fuzzy, staticky television screen of the... 80s and 90s. Mm -hmm. Okay, our next one, again, we have so many this month. Our next one is actually a set when we went to, we had a convention in February called My, or was it March? March? It was at a time. February or March called MyCon here in, in uh, Orlando. It was very small and um, people, like it was, it might have just been the My Hero Academia convention because of everybody who was dressed like that and they were like, do you have a My Hero Academia set? And we were like, no. But let's and, do it. <laughs> and so I barreled through the entire series to figure out what to do. And I not only engineered the art, but I engineered the scent. And the scent is spiced cranberry and spearmint and eucalyptus. It's called Can Do. Can you talk a little bit more about the design and the name since you came up with that? I know nothing about this series. Okay. The name of the scent is Can Do, which is based off of the main character, Deku, that uh, Hershey is currently dressed as. And you go, Deku, can do, how does that work? Japanese love wordplay. And their wordplay is very different from our wordplay because they've got three languages all mixed together. Mm -hmm. And so by doing subtle twists of the main character's normal name, you can either make it say one thing that means this guy is completely useless, or you can make it say a completely different thing that says this guy can do anything. And he decided, because this one hot chick is like, this means that you can do everything. He then made it his name. Deku. Can do. Can do. There you go. So it smells like spiced cranberry, spearmint, and eucalyptus. And this is one of those that's like, you, you hear all those scents and you don't really get the idea of what this becomes. Because the spices kind of make it a little bit more like he's doing hard work. Mm. It smells like hard work. It's kind of spicy, but it's not dirty, grungy, musky. This could be a good scent for the holidays also, but I just, yeah. I really like the cranberry, the spicy cranberry. It's fun. It's really fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's, it is kind of fresh, but it's not like the refreshing of the fruit that we've been getting. Mm -hmm. So it's a very different kind of direction. So we did that for all you My Hero Academia fans out there. Yep. Just for you. This month we are going to MegaCon, which is four days long. It's probably the biggest comic convention here in Orlando. It is aptly named. It is 
gigantic. Yeah. So I don't know what to expect from that. We probably come up with some other theme that someone's like, did you do this? And we're like, oh, oh yeah. yeah. Um, so let's talk about next month's theme because we always like to give you a little sneak peek. And next month is a little different because we haven't really done a theme like this before. Yeah. Um, I don't really have a name for the theme yet, but it's basically Broadway musicals. And we will be doing Sense based on Thoroughly Modern Millie, which is our one of our favorite musicals mm -hmm. growing up, musical movies, because we love Julie Andrews and we love that. We are doing Dear Evan Hansen and Hamilton, because how could we not do Hamilton? Yeah. So those are the three that will be in the collection, as well as some little pop-up other scents that we will have, because we always tend to do mm -hmm. that. But um, I'm, I'm really excited about the three scents we have for next month. And then just to give you a little bit future out, we will have a Disney month coming up in July. Because, you know, we had a Disney month last year. We did. Oh, and we awesome have a couple a couple Disney movies coming out. Yeah. Uh, Lion King, Aladdin, all those. So we thought we need to have a Disney month again. So we will have a Disney month in July. Mm -hmm. Just I'm giving you real, real out there. Um, please go over to our Facebook group and vote for uh, the scent that you want to most see for our holiday because we will not be doing a collection in December. So all of our holiday scents are coming out in November. So you need to go vote for your creative scent over there as well as the wax you want to see for June. And aren't we still doing some voting to see which of our old scents still survive? We are not. We are not. We are done with that voting. You missed it. You missed it. That means not all of your favorite scents may be saved, but pay attention. You might have some fun stuff you'll like coming up. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So make sure you are a part of our Facebook group so you do know what is being discounted in the group and the new cosplayables as we get them done. So go yeah. ahead and comment down the bottom if you uh, about what you think about the cosplayables. If this is where you feel like, ooh, this is a fun way to go. Or if you are like, no, I am internet hate machine. I do not like anything. That's valid. That's, that's you know. Just don't be hating on us. The, <laughs> you do you. We also have a band button. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay sane. Bye bye.